loves, welcome to day one of the cleaning and organising challenge with me, Hayley's Help. I am so excited to get into this with you guys. Let's head straight over to step one in the challenge. Our first task on day one is the medicine cabinet. Now this is something that all of us can do. This is one of the more easier tasks that we are gonna be doing in the 30 day challenge. And what we're gonna be doing is removing all of the products from our medicine cabinets or wherever you store your medicine. And we're gonna be giving a good deep clean and then we are gonna be organizing so it is manageable. So next time we need a paracetamol or we need a band-aid, we know where they're located. Okay guys, here is my medicine cabinet. This is where all of our medicines are kept. Currently, it is not looking too great. It's, there's a lot of clutter in here. There's a lot of stuff I know that needs to be tossed away. Medicine cabinets are often neglected because we just don't tend to make it our sole focus when it comes to our cleaning routines. We spend our time elsewhere, which is absolutely fine, but, seeing as it's the 30 day cleaning and organizing challenge, I thought I would start off with an area that is super easy to do and it's really, really quick and simple and I've got some really cool organizing ways that you can utilize during this vlog. So, to clean out the cupboard, we're obviously gonna completely empty it first. I wanna give the inside of the cupboard a really good deep clean and for that, I am gonna be using literally just antibacterial dish soap. This is something that most of us should have in our home, so I'm hoping that all of you have got this. And then once we have done that, we can go in with either some bleach or some Sephora. So just get a cloth, and I've already filled up the sink with the dish soap, and you're just gonna wipe down all of the inside of the cupboards. And this is gonna include the backs as well. And if you find at any point, because sometimes medicines and stuff leak, if you find at any point that you've got any kind of sticky residue in your cupboards, go ahead and use some WD-40 and that is really, really good for this type of task. it is time to organize. Now, I wanted to show you guys a couple of bits that you can use to organize your medicine cabinet. The first thing, especially if you've got small children, is one of these. This is just one of the Persil um, tablet, washing tablet boxes. But these are really good to store like medicines. You can put all your paracetamols and stuff in there. And because they've got the child safe lid, you know that any little fingers aren't gonna get into potentially dangerous medications. So this is really, really good and useful, I, I would say, for using as a medicine holder. And what you can also do if you wanted to is online you can get vinyl stickers. I've got them upstairs on our um, body wash and on our shampoo. And you literally can write whatever you want. I got mine off of Amazon. And you could just put like first aid on here or medicines or whatever it is you wanted to keep in here, paracetamol, whatever. And I just think this is a really neat idea and it's a cheap way of utilizing um, like a storage solution. So that's the first thing. The second thing, and this is the one that I'm gonna be using today, 
is these. These are makeup holders. I got these from the pound store. So I was imagining you guys could get them obviously in the pound shop in the UK and dollar stores as well. And where these have got the different compartments, they're really handy to store the paracetamol, Nurofen, whichever you've got in your house. And you can put like band-aids in here, a pen if you wanted at the back, just all your kind of different medical supplies that you've got. I'm obviously opting for these because my children are older and they don't go it, they know not to go into the medicine cabinet. They always ask me or Robbie if they require um, paracetamol. However, I would opt for this if they were still younger. So let's head over now and organize our medicine cabinet with these different methods. So this, for example, guys, I've just taken it out of its box and it is sticky AF. So I'm gonna put that into our dish soap water and I'm literally just gonna wash it so it's nice and clean and it's not gonna leave any stickiness inside our nice clean cupboards. Okay guys, this is brilliant. We are getting somewhere now. I've managed to get rid of all the boxes because these boxes do take up a lot of space and I am gonna get rid of the boxes and throw those away. I've given some of the things a wipe over. What I wanted to say to you guys is while you are doing this process, make sure you check on the boxes for the expiry date. So if any of your medicines have expired, you're going to need to throw these out. Don't keep them, they're just cluttering up space in your home. We're gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna tell you exactly how you get rid of them because they can't just be tossed away in your regular bin. When it comes to out of date medicines or medicines that you are no longer using, what you need to do is bag them up and take them along to your local pharmacy who will dispose of them safely and for free. However, currently we are obviously in a lockdown so I'm not going to tell you guys to start going along to the pharmacy because that would be wholly irresponsible. So what you're going to do is bag up your medications that you are throwing away and you're going to find somewhere to store these just until lockdown is over. I know it's not ideal guys but these are the things we have to do to keep others safe. My next organising tip for your medicine cupboard is find room for face masks. If you're watching this in a year's time, hopefully this won't be relevant anymore. But at the moment, with COVID-19 running riot on the streets of the world, apart from New Zealand, you need somewhere for your masks to go. I don't know about you guys, but whenever we leave the house, it seems to be a constant battle of, especially with the children, where's my mask? I don't know where my mask is. I don't know where my mask's gone. And this is a really good way to keep the masks all in one place, but it's not a permanent fixture. It's these, these little suckers. They're suction caps with the hooks on. I got these again off of Amazon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on the inside door of our medicine cabinet so that when we open it up, all of the masks are there. This is also really useful to hang them on if you want them to dry. So once you wash them on a hot wash, you can then just hang them on the hooks and they will air out. Just leave the door open and they will air. So it's also adding kind of like a miniature Sylvanian family laundry line on the inside of your cupboard for your face masks. And let's head over and get these stuck up. yet super satisfying task to complete on day one of our cleaning and organizing challenge. The process 
of this particular clean is exactly what I want you guys to carry through on all our other cleans. We're gonna be cleaning, we're gonna be disinfecting, and then we're gonna be organizing. And hopefully each spot in our homes should look something like this, and that is gonna not only give you the feel good factor, it is gonna make you feel accomplished just slightly every day. So as you can see here guys, this is looking a lot more organized. I've got ice packs in here, I've got the medicines, I've got different creams, I've got vitamins, I've got paracetamol. The reason that I love the idea of having things like this in these little makeup caddies is, what you'll notice and what is a running theme throughout my medicine cabinet, because it was in the big wicker basket before, I never could see what we had in there and what we didn't. And I would often go to the store and basically we've got in here one, two, three boxes now of paracetamol. Nobody needs three boxes of paracetamol. It's unnecessary, we don't need that many. But what's been happening is where I couldn't visually see what we have, I've been buying duplicates. So this is a really good way to avoid spending out more money on medicines that you're then not gonna use. And also remember, like I said earlier, they do have an expiry date. So you are gonna end up wasting medication because it will have to be thrown in the bin once it has expired. I hope you guys enjoyed this 30 days of cleaning with Hayley. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. I hope you guys will return again tomorrow where we will be doing our day two task. And don't forget to let me know how you got on with day number one in the comments. Love you guys, see you tomorrow. Mwah.